Welcome back to another B to the 7 Quick Bits. So last week I ran a poll on LinkedIn. Yes, I love running polls because it's a great way to gauge what your audience and those you are connected to are thinking, but it's also a great way for you as a brand to even potentially poll your um, employees, people that work for you, to get an understanding of what they want to work or how they feel that they should work. Now keep in mind with this poll, every industry is different, every category is different. It's all based on, you know, your roles, your responsibilities, who you're supporting, and when during the day, and you know, it could be Monday through Friday, of when you are supporting, whether it's the team members or the customers that you're serving. So the poll itself was, what is your ideal work schedule? And I really had four different options. The first one was five eight-hour workdays, 24% selected that one, four 10-hour workdays, which 52% selected that one, three 13-hour workdays, which 8% selected that one, and I had another, which 16%. So overall, I had 324 people reply to the poll, and you know, this is a good, good indication of a pretty good subset of people and what this kind of looks like. But it's always the other where I think I get the most insights when people are sharing outside of the poll of what their views and what their beliefs are around this and really how to look at this differently. So it's not necessarily a set number of hours or a set number of days, but there's other things that go into play, which I want to dive more into and share some of that because I think it's very relevant. Okay, I'm going to dig into three of the different comments and kind of share those that came out. And one of them is, you know, it doesn't matter how many hours you work, it's all about results. So whether you're working one hour, working five hours, working 10 hours, it's the re results that you're bringing back. And, you know, some team members are going to perform better than others. So those results are going to look different. Um, the workload should be tailored towards you as an individual or you towards a department. This is a great insight of looking at your team as a whole and you know you could potentially reward them for a day off here, a day off there, or a half day based off of what their performance are. And also need to look at how are you being more efficient and effective during the work week and you know does it make sense to shorten it? Does it make sense to to lengthen it. It really depends on how efficient you're going. So, you know, these are really good insights. And when you look at the work weeks that people are working, you know, what is it? What does it mean? How can it be tailored? And how can you be more efficient in what you're doing? So some of the action items for you coming out of this, look at what it is that your teams are doing. Look at it, what it is that you're working and how you're working. You know, is this effective? Is it tailored towards the team? Are you getting the most out of the team? Are people coming into work? and spending two, three hours of the day just um, communicating and talking with others and not really being effective. You know, these are all things to think about. And, you know, it's posts like these that I think start, you know, calling attention and bringing thoughts out, which I love. So look for some of the polls and poll results coming out here in the next couple of weeks as I run them. Um, something I love to do. Let's connect here on LinkedIn, YouTube, um, Twitter, you name it, I'll put all the links in the bottom. Check out my career website at careerbarn.com. And for more digital and social insights, go to b2the7.com. Y'all have a great day.